Hello, it is the Nerd from Wales, and welcome to another update. Which, I'm just going to run through all the things I had before. So I already had, uh, well, that helmet over there, which is broken. I now put pieces of paper in it to store. Uh, I have the goggles, not those shoes, I wouldn't wear them for downhill. I now have the new helmet, uh, the neck brace. I don't think in the last update I... Um, I don't think I, uh, I, I don't think I went over that. So yes, same um, knee shin pads. They're really good. These things, solid as hell. And same elbow pads. And I use still use the same bag to um, to carry all of it to the forest of the evening. I have new gloves, which I'll do an in depth review of. They're very nice. But as you can probably see from over there, a big update, and um, possibly from over here. Uh, anything else? I swear there was something else. Oh yeah, and uh, and something I wanted to go over over here. So, so these gloves, and there are the trousers, or as Chain Reactions like Cycles decides to call them race pants, which I'm not sure for why. Not sure why. So yes. Um, they're very nice. I I took graphics and I was like bored stiff, but these these trousers do have. I took graphics at school. These trousers do have like the you know the nicest colour patterns on them, and on the back as well. So it's a very vibrant. I'm quite a vibrant person. Well, apart from the black hoodie, I guess. Well, I just like wearing black. Which kind of like just didn't make sense to anything I just said about being a vibrant person. I like to wear the vibrant things when I'm, you know, downhill biking. Which I can now say because I have a bike that you can do downhill stuff on. I can clear the jumps at the, uh, the Big Owls Trail. And I can do the routey stuff and the steep stuff. So I consider myself, I consider myself a downhill biker now. Um, I mean, I, as in before, when I was riding my diamond back, which is now down in the garage over there, through all the walls and crap, I wouldn't have considered myself a downhill biker because, um, obviously, it was, that's a cross-country bike, and I wasn't exactly doing downhill stuff on it. Um, so, yeah, that is my jersey, my, well, my Fox jersey. John actually wore that on the last bike ride. That was good. Uh, I have my old Nema Podium race pants, as they call them on Chain Reaction Cycles, and I have a new jersey, which is Royal. Royal Royals, I make. And the last thing I wanted to go over was not the slippers that are over there, but, oh, really comfy. I think I'm going to wear them, actually. So, yeah. These, um, let's sit down. These are actually, I, in my opinion, the best shoes to wear if you're not wearing, you know, clip-on pedals. Because uh, I don't like clip, I don't like clippy pedals because they're expensive and I don't think they're necessary. And um, you know, probably when I'm cycling downhill and I fall off, I do not have the brain power to think, turn my foot left a bit to, to make them unclip. So if you have flat downhill pedals and you want shoes that will sit very nicely on them, you need to get skate shoes like these. They have a very flat sole. They're built for actually, oh, bit of man. Um, that are built for gripping to skateboards, of, uh, skateboards which are flat mostly. And that's why, as you can see, they have a flat sole, which are great. I mean, these aren't so great, even though they're flat, because, um, you know they're very narrow, and where I where I put my feet on the pedals, which are about there, is quite thin here, so not all the studs would grip. So that's why I got those. Let me show you um, a bad example of downhill. Um, oh, I don't have any in sight, which is a pain. Um, oh, here's a very bad example. As you can see, not a flat sole. And their sandals. That's a doubly bad thing. So anyway, yes. Uh, interesting story. I'm going to be lending that helmet to my friend Robert, who I'm... The other Robert, Robert B. Um, because I'm trying to nudge him in the direction of downhill biking instead of cross-country. I'm going to put you there. 
hopefully you won't fall over. Put my knife there to make sure you don't. Yay! So yeah. Robert, is, I think he's going up to Inverness in Scotland, and he wants to borrow my helmet, and um, so I'm going to have to sort of teach him, you know, how to put the goggles on the helmet, so, you know, because if you land a jump with that helmet without goggles holding their visor up, it will literally go like this over your eyes, so you can't see anything. But I just look like Rita then. Anyway. So yeah, that the, that helmet's partially broken, but it could be fixed. But I just wanted to get a new helmet over there because it was awesome. Um, I the trousers I showed you in-depth review coming. Same with the jersey, and same with the jersey that's coming in the post. So that um, that uh, so that's three reviews in depth that should be coming after this one. And there's an in-depth review of. Uh, my Asus, so expect about five videos during the Christmas holidays. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good. I'm just gonna have to. Yep. There you go. Okay, so update over. Unhappy face. I literally spent like the whole, I don't know, um, past three days drying out all the stuff on that radiator because last time we went to the Forest of Dean it was absolutely soaking, which was a bummer. Because the jumps were all nasty and greasy. But anyway, see you next time. Bye.